Well, in this week's Power Woman segment, we're discussing black women's history. Claire Brown is here with special guest Key Fletcher, the director of the Mosaic Templars Cultural Center Museum. And Claire, I'm going to let you take it away from here. Thank you so much, Katrin. And I'm so excited. It is our last Monday yeah. of Women's History Month, and Key Fletcher is here with us today. And Key, you are so much of, I mean, you're a huge wealth of knowledge of the history in our state, but especially of black women's history. So yeah. tell us a little bit, where have black women been in our state? Who are they? What are the things we need to know of the history of black women? Absolutely. So first, thank you so much for having me yeah. today. Claire, I always say you save the best for last. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. But definitely, I think when we talk about um, black women, uh, specifically in, in Arkansas, but then more broadly as a whole in terms of American history, I think one of the things that we need to remember is that African American women have always played a part in laying the foundation of our country. Yeah. I think so often black women get typecast in the starring role of, of their lives, and oftentimes black women are seen in servant roles. Yeah. But when we think about the history of our country, country, you know, we think about people like Madam C.J. Walker, who was mm -hmm. the first self-made millionaire that was mm -hmm. an African-American woman. Yeah. We think about Eliza Miller, who was here from Arkansas, also around the same time, around the 1860s uh, is when they both were born. Uh, Eliza Miller started, actually operated the very first movie theater, mm -hmm. a black woman in Arkansas. And so I think when you think about African-American women uh, as a whole, we've always been leading the charge, but we're not all often portrayed in that light. There's a wonderful Netflix documentary about Madam C.J. Walker yes. called Self Made. I love it. It's amazing. I binged it recently. Yeah, it's really so good. Where are black women now? I mean, what is the the current status of black women in our state. I mean, I know some statistics of, of black women and, and small businesses and college graduates and how they give to our community, but tell us what that looks like. Absolutely. So black, this has been such an amazing time mm -hmm. for African American women. Again, when you think about nationally, we have our first lady, Michelle Obama, we call her in the black community our forever first lady. Yeah. And then we also have Kamala Harris. Mm -hmm. um, then here in Arkansas, we just recently did a program at Mosaic Templars Cultural Center called Black Women on the Bench where we have five yeah. African-American judges in Pulaski County. Yeah. That's absolutely amazing. You know, is. Now is such an amazing time for African-American women. And now we're able to actually talk about our own stories and share our own narratives, which is so very important. Mm -hmm. You know, we always say for every black woman that you see out front leading, like the judges, like Kamala, mm -hmm. like Michelle Obama. There's 25 black women you don't see yeah. who are holding them up, right. who are taking care of the children, who are making sure that they have what they're that that they have what they need, that their clothes and that their nails and that they're praying for them. They're right. taking care of their families. It's a whole idea of collective work and responsibility right. in the African American community. So I think it's we're at a very pivotal time for African American mm -hmm. women where we're actually able to tell our own stories. Yeah. And so what does the future look like for black women, especially here in Arkansas? And then how can we help build that community and support? Absolutely. So I just took my daughter on an HBCU tour okay. and she got a chance to visit some amazing historically black colleges in Tennessee. And the beautiful thing about it when we got there, Claire, was that one of the ladies who was leading one of the tours was from Arkansas yeah. and she was going to school to be a dentist. Mm -hmm. You think about that, over a hundred years ago there would not have been mm -hmm. an opportunity for an African American woman to be a dentist. There's so many opportunities for African American women in STEM. There's so many resources mm -hmm. that are out there for African American women. I think when we think about the history of African American women in our state, we know who we are. We don't need to be validated by anybody else, but what we need is we need to feel valued and respected. Mm -hmm. And I think that that happens when all of us recognize our shared past, our amazing impact, and what we can do together when we're listening to each other's stories. Thank you so much, Key. Thank I you so appreciate me, you Claire. being here. Absolutely. Back to you, Katrin.